So what we did this morning, we established the first thing we look at is we look at our trend chart. Our trend chart is the most important chart we look at when we first log in to any market. The beauty of the Rinko bar that we have, we have a trend filter built into the Rinko bar. So it's unlike any minute chart, share chart, range bar, or anything, tick chart, because it gives you the big trend or scope of the market, what's going on. The market can only do two things. Either we trend or we chop. I don't care what market you trade. All future stocks, Forex, doesn't matter. So what we want to do is we want to see what the trend is. Either we trend or, we, or, or we're in range. Easiest way to do, we don't use moving averages for support and resistance, but we do use them for trend direction. The best one to look at, I got three MAs on my, on my, um, on my trend chart. It's the first chart you look at. I don't care where the Fibonacci arrows are. I don't care about the market imbalance with market delta. I want to find out. I don't even care where market profile is at. I want to find out, am I flat or am I trending? If I got a sideways magenta MA right here, this pink magenta MA, if that is sideways or horizontal, I'm in a flat market. And flat markets tell me to look for one thing right away. is a symmetrical wedge. Almost 80% of all flat markets that you're going to find, 80-85% form symmetrical wedges. What does that mean? You have two higher lows and two lower or higher lows and two lower highs. And that's what we had. I drew this in this morning before we broke out. I said what we're looking for is we're looking for a break of the symmetrical wedge. Once you break the symmetrical wedge, I'm going to look for the first retest, and I'm going to try to get short or long the market on either side of the break because we're flat. So let's look what the market did. First of all, let's look what the trend, how we can tell what the trend is going into the break. I got a smaller MA, this white MA here. That's my smallest MA. We use it for trend direction. If I get a 90% candle close, the body of the candle, the open versus close, it tells me that is the trend of the market. As long as it stays, uh, uh, the body of the candle, the open versus close, meaning that the big green box or the big red box, as long as I stay below the smaller MA, I'm trending down. So ever since 7.15 this morning, I've been in a downtrend, even though I was in a symmetrical wedge, because my box is on the other is 90% closed below the smaller MA. You can see how it rides down. I don't care if it breaks intra bar. That's the highs and lows. That's for amateur traders does not matter. I'm looking for a continuation. So the best way to find a trade is this. And here's how you can line it up. And I'll put this over here like this for you. I know we got another setup over here, so I don't want to mess it up for you traders who are trading. Is we're in a downtrend. Once we close below, we close below here, whole body candle close below the symmetrical wedge. As soon as that green bar prints, this bar tells me we got wrongly positioned traders in the market against our trend filter, or we have counter trend traders against my trend filter. Like members know, I was a guest speaker at Las Vegas Trade Show, and there's over almost 6,000 traders out there. And almost all the traders I talk to, the majority of them use a system that counter trend trades the market, and they are wrong. And that's why they're at trade shows because they have systems that counter trend trade the market. They're not consistent traders. Why? Because they're counter trend trading the overall tone of the market. My trend filter will not allow you to do that. It will keep you on the right side of the market, but it will also tell you when the wrongly positioned traders are getting in. So what I want to do is, is if I'm trending down and I see a green close, a green open versus close, that tells me wrongly positioned traders are in the market. How can I take advantage of that? In any market I look at, I can take advantage of it because I know I'm looking for a retracement now. I want to start watching my five SIM Rinko. I want to see it test my SIM dots. If I test my SIM dots, I know because SIM dots by themselves are worthless. You will get killed trading all by themselves. You cannot trade them by themselves because it's just the symmetry of the market. It shows you the highs and different swing highs and swing lows of the market. Trading them by yourselves, you'll get absolutely killed. But when you use it in combination with the overall trend context and when the wrongly positioned traders are getting in, it tells you where your target is to look for a short. So I know if I'm in a downtrend and I get a green bar close, 
I know I got wrongly positioned counter trend traders. I start watching this chart. Where's my red SIM dots in a downtrend? When price gets within two ticks of those SIM dots, I can A, look for negative market delta to get short, or B, wait for an arrow to fire and get short when the arrow fires. So as soon as this arrow fires, that's your time to get short right here. That is your entry short at that arrow at the close. Stop loss two ticks above the swing high, go for your first set of symmetry dots, then shoot for your second set. Because look, what we're still in a downtrend, still trending down. We had the same setup yesterday. If I go yesterday, why we're, you, I'll keep this on over here, this three sem, we had a trade here with arrow. But with the same setup yesterday, let's take a look at the trend chart. So as the market's moving back up, the trend started actually on this bar right here. And this is the cool thing about my trend chart. 90% candle close was right there. There's 90% candle close. That started the uptrend at 1033 in the, in, the, in the morning. That started the uptrend. Let me show you this trade. That started your uptrend. So as I move up, I move up, green bar, green bar, green bar. I got space in between my small and May. I don't have to be above all three MAs, but the best is to be above all three. That's the hottest part of the market. But look at the space between my open versus close versus my smaller MA. But look what happens. Look at my red bar that prints. We are educated enough to know after seeing this trend chart and how this chart, this 5 SIM and 9 SIM work together. We're smarter than the average trading opponents because we know this red bar that prints tells us what? We're in a 9 sim uptrend. We know that that bar prints that we have now wrongly positioned counter trend traders shorting the market because our trend chart is up. It is actually up. It's been up since 1035 or 1033 in the morning. So yesterday at 1050 when we get a red bar that prints, we're smarter than our trading opponents. We know that they are wrongly positioned. We got counter trend traders. What do I want to do? I want to start staring at my SIM dots for a retracement buy. So what I want to do is right there it is, it caught the exact low just like we caught the exact high today. Right there it is. We come to my SIM dots, which are 50, and that is exactly when all these counter trend traders start counter trend trading the market. We position ourselves to go long right here at the low of the swing just because we're, we knew that the counter trend traders were coming in. Now, if I go back and I look at the with short we had, the same thing happened at 10. If I look at 10 o'clock in the morning, we're smarter than our trading opponents. We know that the trend started down at this bar right here. And this is a 90% candle close. And typically, when you get a 90% candle close, more, than, more so than none, it's going to happen with a retracement right away. So I know that when we are in a downtrend right here, I know when I get a 90% candle close below, the trend started down all the way down and you kept short. However, look what happened. Look at the green bar that printed. Now, we know that we have tons of counter trend traders in the market because they use lagging indicators. They use uh, divergence, stochastics, the MAC, all that crazy stuff. We know when that green bar prints, the trend filter is down. It's going against our trend filter. So we know that these are wrongly positioned traders. So what do we want to do? We want to wait till we retest symmetry right here. It retested symmetry and take a look. It nailed the high. Yesterday was a beautiful trading day for us. A lot of ticks. So trend filler was down. Counter trend traders come down and, and my arrow caught the exact high there. Trend filler was up. Counter trend traders came in. And my arrow caught the exact low. There, my fib arrows. Look how my fib arrows caught the exact high there and caught the exact low there. Why? Because it caught the wrongly positioned traders against the trend filter. That's a great way to do it if you see a bar that prints opposite color of the trend filter. It's telling you look for a retest of symmetry. Now, how can we trade other trades, just not the symmetry dots? The symmetry dots are worthless by themselves, but they're great working with the trend filter when you get the bar, the opposite prints, opposite bar. They work in synergy then, right? That's a great setup for you to have in your toolbox. The second way to go is if I get space 
if I get space in between my trend filter and my smaller MA here, open versus close is not touching. See, it's not touching my smaller MA. I want to look for retracements. I want to take a three sim arrow trade over here on my smaller chart because that is going to give us, as this bar ticks up, tick, 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 inch your bar. I don't want to wait till it closes because it's wick. You, you don't want the wick to close all the way down here. You want to sell exactly when it touches my small MA after space if I get an arrow that prints on my three sim. So not only can I trade the five sim on a retest of symmetry, I can let the trend filler get space and not even give me a green counter trend traders coming in. I can sell red with red. I can let it tick back up, tick, 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 touch my smaller MA, look for the arrow to fire, and then it goes all the way back down, got a beautiful trade. That's the second way to do it. The third way to do it is you can actually let the symmetry dots break on the other side of it. What does that mean? What I can do is I can let symmetry break on the other side, a break retest. We had one this morning also that I said break 70 retest worked out for the first target. I can let symmetry break and I can let it retest. What that means is instead of selling symmetry when a green bar prints opposite color, I can actually do an ABC short. I can let it break. I can let it come back up and retest my symmetry dots. And I can get short. Great way to do it. So, but everything is based off this trend chart. If you warm up to this trend chart and you know how to trade the trend chart, you can do some serious damage in any market because I got a trend filter that's very sensitive to picking up trends. And once you get a 90% candle close, and we call it a flat market today, we call that break retest, called it before it even happened, right there. Even a flat market, you can get ready for it. Isn't a downtrend here? Broke out. Green bar printed, counter trend traders come in, we're smarter than our trading opponents. What do we do? Look for the retest. We had a break retest here for the first target. That one worked with a negative market delta. Then we got to retest the symmetry. That one worked also. Okay? That's how we do it. Very simple.